Hello and welcome to Being Extraordinary. My name is Sarah Kent and I help women to connect to and create their dreams. In this series of videos we've been exploring how we can build our resilience and in today's episode I'm going to talk about competence and how we can use it to help us become more resilient. Now, if you're a woman and you do find this video helpful, you'll find a lot of value and support in my Facebook group, Being Extraordinary, and you'll see the link to that group below this video. I'd love to see you there. So let's start by defining what competence is. It can be defined as the feeling of having the skill, knowledge, qualifications, or capacity to accomplish tasks and goals. Knowing our talents and skill set helps us find ways to play to our strengths. So it's worthwhile spending some time acknowledging the skills that you do have and the things that you are naturally good at. The trouble is, sometimes the things that we are best at are things which simply seem easy to us and they can fall into our blind spot. So one way to help identify these innate skills is simply to ask a friend to tell you three to five things that they really like and respect about you. Knowing the areas that we're already skillful or competent in can actually boost our self-esteem and feelings of capability. And this in turn encourage us, encourages us to try things which are a little bit out of our comfort zone. We can also choose to find ways to nurture our existing strengths and talents so that when the unexpected happens, we've got more ways to respond. Knowing what we're good at also means that we can look at areas in which we'd like to improve or acquire new skills because acknowledging we're already good at some things actually makes it easier for us to try to develop new strengths and talents in the future. So how do we actually build competence in new or existing areas so that we can become more resilient? Here's a small exercise which can help you to do just that. The key thing here is to make it as easy as possible and to acknowledge that over time, even small steps and changes can add up to something big. So take a moment and identify something, a skill, which you'd like to become more competent in. It might be a specific skill which would help you towards a goal or would help you at work. Now, Remembering to be your own best friend and to focus on things which are within your control, answer these questions. What tiny steps can you commit to making right now towards developing this skill that you are perhaps 80% confident that you could do? Write a list of these very specific tiny steps. Okay, so now you've got your list. Now pick just one or two tiny steps at a time to focus on. Write what you've chosen down and have that somewhere obvious, whether it's on your phone notes, your diary, a screensaver or a post-it note, just have it somewhere as a reminder. And now commit to following your chosen steps and continue this process until you've gone through all of those tiny steps and continue and continue this process until your new skill has actually become easier or even better, automatic. So these steps may feel really small, but they are not insignificant and they will accumulate over time to lead to having a big impact. And of course, when we do feel more competent, we are naturally boosting our resilience 
and our capacity to deal with change and unexpected events. So I hope you found this useful today and I'd love to hear from you in the comments if you tried out that little exercise I just shared. As I mentioned at the beginning, if you're a woman who has a dream and you'd like to be in a community of other extraordinary women, I invite you to join my Facebook group, Being Extraordinary. There's a link in the description below this video. And if you join right now, there is a free mini audio class for you to download inside the group. I'd love to see you there. I'm Sarah Kent and until next time, be extraordinary.